Hi everybody. Here I am again. As you can see, I'm working on a diamond art. And look at this, how it's just a swirl of color. I love this. I'm almost finished with it. I've only got one more section. I section it off first, and then I do one section at a time. So I only got this one left. But see, because I swap from idea to idea and and thing to thing, I wanted to work again on my um on my little quilt flower I'm doing. And so and I just wanted to show you how far I've come along. Um I, I took a, a page out of a coloring book and then just started, instead of coloring the flower, I'm quilling the flower. So my flower isn't exactly like the picture was, but it's similar. It's very similar. I kind of used that shape and then I just quilled, just did some simple quilling. And um, here you can see like in, in the centers, of some of the flowers I put just a little pearl. I have these little pearls that are like on a string. Oh, this. Them scam likely calls. Okay, um, I have these like, it's on a string of pearls and you gotta cut them apart with a scissor, but they're just perfect little size. I cut one off and I put it I put them in different places in the um, in the in inside of the centers of the petals, and I think that turned out so pretty. Some of some of my like leaves, I've got them layered even up, so they kind of poke up on there. I have I I'm thinking I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do the vase yet. I might not quill the vase. I might use some kind of paper mosaic or something to do the vase, but I'm not ready for that yet. What I have now is I have spaces. I have spaces that are in between. And since there's no rules in doing something like this, I have to make them all. As I look at this up in the... Um, image up there on the computer. It looks like I want to get some more greenery that hangs down. But um, I have different ways that I rolled the papers. Like these are like a S thing, you know, so they kind of look like just this. These ones I did on the onion holder doohickey thingy. And um, different ways you can do your papers. You don't have to follow any rules. Just get that rolled up and stack them and put them in but this is what i want to do i do a lot of my um i do a lot of my this one thing i was never going to start is this diamond art but i am addicted but when, after you're done with one of the kits there's always a lot of of um drills they call them left over and so i save mine and like here is a lot of different greens, and I just put them all in one package. And I, I can't throw that stuff away. I ain't throwing stuff away for love nor money. I got to keep that stuff because it's important. Because you never know. And I got a feeling that people are going to be coming up with videos and things of what they do with their leftover dots. If you look at my table here, you can see dots all over. And so I've got different colors. Some of them I just got put all the way in bunches of bunches of colors, but then most of them I've got like, these are all greens and I got some that are all blues, some that are reds and pinks and stuff. And so, but this is what I want to do here is I, I took out my greens. Oh, there's a purple spot in there. And this is what I want to do. I want to, um, I wonder if I turn my light on. Yeah, if I turn my, I got a light board underneath here and so I can see these spots so what I want to do here which I think will work out really cool is I want to oh, wait a minute. I have to I got to change the cap on my glue bottle every once in a while I got to change the cap because I kind of let it dry out and then it doesn't work good and then um 
and then I'll put this one in water so that because sometimes I don't put the cap right on and um, then my glue dries up in there and won't come out. Now I got a fresh one on. I'll clean this one. But see, what I want to do here is, well, let me see. I think I'll pour, I'm going to pour some of my, my dots just in here. This is one of those things that you use when you're diamond dotting. But um, what I want to do, and then I got this little silicone spoon. I don't know what it's actually for, but it works for things. And so I'm going to put some glue down. I'm going to put the glue. I've got that very narrow thing, you know. And so, and then I'm going to just put some of those green dots down in there. And I'm going to go into these spaces so that it'll cover up the paper. And then I'm going to just take my my little greens collection of dots. And some of them are going in flat. Some of them are going in sideways. It doesn't matter. That's the rules. It doesn't matter. Rules are made to be bent. Okay. Well, except unless you're driving... Out on the highway, you got to follow the safe driving rules. Don't be bending them rules out on the highway. Because you might get yourself in a bit of trouble there. You don't want that to happen. So, um, if that's another scam like we call, I swear. What does it say? It says SMS reply. Scam likely. I don't know what that means. But all of a sudden, I think somebody come on to my phone number and they've been I've been getting scam calls like every five minutes that's not good and so so anyhow because I know I want to talk to real people if you're just a real people and you call me well then fine I'll talk to you for a while but if you're scared well sometimes I have fun with the scam people too and um, I say, your call is very important to us. Please hold. And then I just let them sit there and wait. I know that's not very nice, I guess. Because even the scammers are trying to make a living, I guess. It's not a good way of making a living. but So anyhow, I'm just putting the glue down in these areas where I can see the paper. You know, where the leaves, my green leaves didn't cover up. And so I'm just putting that glue down in there. And then um, scoop some of those little extra, because these are real small. They're like a little flat backs, you know. And they're just real small. So um, And then this glue, it just dries clear. So, where'd I put that glue? Where'd I put that glue? There we go. And then, like right here, I had already put some, just some of the flatbacks, the little diamonds right there on top, which that's cool too. That can go down here, like in the, right here on the edge of that one. There we go. And then put some. And, and so I can go like this, too. I could, um, since this is going to dry clear, I can go, like, just on the outside, right outside here. I don't have it on glue, but I can just scoot those down in there. Just scoot them in there. And then just squirt some glue on the top. And then that'll dry... And it just drip that glue on the top. And it'll dry clear. Like that way. 
Now let's put some put some more on top of the glue. And it'll just dry there. It'll just dry and just be so pretty. Now see I did it in here. Um in this yellow, in this yellow flower right here. I put some in there. You can see that I filled in those spaces with the uh, yellows. And um, so, but I have a lot of spots in here that I can fill in with, fill in with these little, oh, my fingers don't work. I got to use my little spoon, my little diet spoon here. That in there. If I get those greens inside there in them little spaces, those empty places, smiling faces. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And that's what we want. We're looking for very pretty. And so I think this is going to be so pretty. I haven't decided yet exactly. Now, now I can't just leave it like paper edge. The edge is going to have to be all the paper around. Because this is just a coloring book sheet. So I'm going to have to do something there. I haven't just decided what yet, though. Maybe I'll just go with... Um, Glue around the edge of this flower, and then just take some of these little extra diamond dots and just tuck them in there into that glue. Just tuck them into the glue. And so I was talking to my friend the other night, and I was doing this while I was talking to the friend, and she says, I want that when it's done. I said, okay, it'd be yours. It'd be yours when it's done. So at least I have a, 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 a it's got a, it's got a home after it's done here. So, um, so that's cool. And... It. She likes it. She likes it. I'm not even done with it, and she already likes it. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, Papa. Okay, so. You what? I love you too, darling. Just shove, you know, that is cool. If I just go all the way around, even with these greens, just put glue all the way around, and um, put the glue all the way around and. Papa's got to go for his walk. Bless his heart. He's just, he'll sit there quiet all day. As soon as I start talking on the camera, he feels like he's got to have him have conversation with me. Makes me think of when my kids were little. I'd get on the phone, and after I'd get on the phone, I'm talking to somebody, that's when they have important questions. Mommy, mommy. I'd say, go find your mother. Now, they wouldn't, though, because they thought I was their mother. And so now Papa's doing the same thing. Bless his heart. I do love him. I pick on him. I'm terrible. I do pick on him terrible, but it's okay. He, he likes me to pick on him. But if I get on the telephone, if I start doing a video, then that's when he all of a sudden has all these questions. So I'm not sure exactly why that is. But it's okay. It's okay. I can deal with it. Get 
this glue. I'm just getting, I'm outlining now in glue. It's just my idea now. My idea just came to fruitation. You know what I need to put this in? Where's one of my things with a, my other, where's my other, what are my other things? With a, here it is, here's one with the pouring spout on it. That's what I need. This one doesn't have a pouring spout on it. So I'm going to get this one with a pouring spout. And then I can... I don't actually need that light on, do I? No. Okay, so... Get that one with the pouring spout, and then I can just pour them in there. I think this is going to be pretty... I just keep coming up with different ideas of what I can do. And so, and I don't have any for sure plans of the whole thing. But look, I got all those greens in there since I have all them greens. And I mean, I have got a lot of leftover diamond darts. I started doing diamond dart with one diamond dart. My first diamond dart I ever got was already done. And Trucker Janie sent me that, and she sent me a picture. It was like of a Joker card. And um, she sent that, and I looked at that, and I looked at that, and I looked at it. I said, wow, that's a lot of patience. There is no way I would ever do a diamond dot painting. That is just too much. And then I was watching a sale what i call going to yard sales is when people have their little online sales and well this girl carol she had a picture of a um little shih tzu dog and i said oh, i have got to do that for jeffrey and so i went ahead and bought it because my dog has a little shih tzu and this one looked just like my my dog my dog doesn't have a little shih tzu my jeffrey my grandson has a little shih tzu and so I said, I got to get that and do that for him. Well, I did it for him. And that's been a couple months ago. And now this is like, the one I'm doing now is probably number 11. I've just been doing it. As soon as I finish one, I start another one. And you can buy them so inexpensively. I mean, you can get for 3 or $4, you can get a really nice diamond art. So... I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I love it. But you see, what I do, though, is like I've been working on that diamond art this morning, but then I said, nope, I want to do something else. And so then I just scoot it off. I just scoot it out the way, and I um, pick up something else and do something else. But while I was doing the diamond art, though, this morning, I was watching a video of a young lady that was doing some landscapes out of fabrics and just slow stitching and I said oh my gosh I gotta do that and so and but that's how I am I am I I'm a, I gotta do that every time I see something and so I have everything to do that so I might pull that out I might do some of that probably by the end of the day I might have something like that started got all these things started but um but I'm, I'm, you know, now I've, now that I have my scrappy pals, I'm going to be doing more finishing than I have done in the past. I've not been, I got so many unfinished projects. But now that I have scrappy pals, I'm going to be finishing these because I've got somewhere for them to go. And so, so that's a good thing. So. That's the join button you see underneath. That's for the Scrappy Pals. And if you join, then you got a chance of winning prizes. Stuff that I make. Although this one here was claimed. This one was claimed and I couldn't say no because she was my sister. My sister claimed it, so it's hers. So, but this, this I'm telling you, this is fun. You know how many of these diamond dots I've got on the floor right now? I have guaranteed floor art. Kind of looks like one of them old terrazzo floors. Yeah. 
Papa sweeps every once in a while. He goes, you want me to pick up all these little... No, I said, no. You can throw them in the rubbish. Ugh, don't, I don't need them mixed with sand. We get a lot of sand in our floor because we live in Florida and we do not have, like, our, our you know, we got nature out there, sand. So we have sand in our floor because Pop goes in and out many times a day. Doesn't take his shoes off. Not that I expect him to, but he brings in a lot of sand. And so I just hand him the brew. And he says, test out your skills with this, Papa. And then he does. He cleans up after himself, which is a good thing. Otherwise, we'd have sand dunes right here in the house. But we live in Florida, so, you know, you go with the flow. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this with these dots all the way around. Hey, what the heck? I'm on a roll, I'm telling you. I'm like the great inventor here. So, if you're a diamond daughter, don't throw the dots away. Don't throw the extras away, because they always give you a lot of extras. And even, like, every time you get a new a new kit, you get uh, one of these little dishes with it, a boat. And so I've got, like, a whole bunch of them boats. I don't throw them away either, you know. Some people just throw them away. You get so many, you just don't need them all. But you know what? I got one that I use for my medicine. I put all my medicine in, in there in the morning, and then I just dump it in my mouth. And there they all are in my mouth. I mean, you can do them. There's a lot of things you can do with them. Don't throw nothing away. And then you end up with a lot of these little pens, too. These little pokey pens like this. Well, you don't have to throw them away either because you can make bubble beads out of them, extra ones. Yeah, because you get one of them with every kit. After a while, you've got a whole bunch of them. And just save them because you'll figure out something to do with them. Don't throw them away. probably take them like forever to decompose in landfill so make some boho beads out of them or something there's something you can do with them doggone boogers so yeah i think i've went i wasn't planning to go all the way around on this thing i was just planning just to go i was just planning just to go here and there and roundabout but looks like i just went near body boy look at that see now now these aren't stuck down you know so i'll wait till the glue dries and then i'll shake them off like you would shake off glitter and i'll put them back in my little container there and um but then you can also like um Well, I got to get some more down in here, too. Let's push them down in there. Oh, my tweezers, yeah. See, if if I were to want to, if I were to want to do this, I could go, like, around, like, if I can go around this here leaf and just make little dots of glue, just little tiny dots. Just little dots of glue. And then take my tweezers here with some of these little... Oops, my tweezers are glued together because I stuck them in the glue. Why don't why you stick them in the glue, Elizabeth? I'll get them off. Here's another pair. And just put them... Then you use them as a flat back and put them on the leaf. And then that gives your leaf just a little bit more pizzazz. And we just need a little pizzazz, I'm telling you, in everything. In everything you need pizzazz. And that is what we're saying right there. And see there, I can just put those little bitty things on here. How come I have cat hairs and everything? There's a cat hair. Go away, cat hair. I'm surprised Petunia ain't up here trying to help me. 
because she does like to help. Oh, and I got some of these that I got that are all, um, that are Aurora Borealis thing or the, you know, the gems, the shiny gems. I just call them shiny gems because I can't never remember that word. Aurora Borealis. My lips don't say that word very good. I had a, um, I had one of them scam likely calls, and they asked to speak to Elizabeth Brewer. I said she can't come to the phone right now because her lips are out of out of order. That's what I told them. They hung up on me. Dang it! Sometimes I say, "Hello, upstairs maid. How may I help you?" Yeah, sometimes you can have some fun with those little boogers, but. The more times you answer, though, the more time they're called. So most of the time I just have to just hang up on them and not have fun. But, um, yeah, it's fun. Um, or they say, are you my mother? I say, are you my mother? I said, mother, I told you to quit calling me. Okay, so anyhow, that's all I, oh, there's another cat here. I could leave the cat here in there just for a little frill. But you see, now wait now. that Now I'm going to just kind of kind of shake off the extras that didn't go down a little bit here. And there, now see? All of those ones are already stuck down in there. Is that amazing or what? It might be or what. Well, then I got to get all these um, these ones picked back up or knocked in the floor, one or the other. You know, it's half dozen of one, six of the other. I don't know. So I'll just get those and put them back in my thing. So... I didn't go like this. Put them in my doohickey. There we go. Now they're back in my doohickey. Then I can pour them back. See, I still got lots more. I'm going to be finding things to do with these. You bet your sweet bippy. I am. Okay, well, we won't go through all that right now. And now, see, I have to put my lid on this glue because that's where I get in trouble and things dry up. And I've got to put them in water and vinegar so that they'll, so that the spout doesn't freeze up. Okay, so anyway, that's, that's about all for today on there. But I'll, I'm going to get more stuff. I'll probably show you some more stuff. I think I'm going to get some of them Aurora, 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 oh, Aurora Borealis thingies and maybe go over these center pieces and make them shine. Because anything that shines is prettier than things that don't shine. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do here in this, um, in this vods. Is it a vase or a vase? I guess it depends on how rich you are. If you're poor and you use a quart jar for a vase, then it's a vase. But if you're rich and fancy, then it's a vase. Maybe it has something to do with how much you spend. But I think this is going to be really pretty. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do around the edge yet, around the rest of the paper. But I'm going to figure out something something it's going to be something and it's going to be amazing amazingly beautiful that's all i have to say about that okay so anyway i gotta wait for that glue to dry which that glue dries really really quickly so it's probably already dry but i want to be careful and then maybe now i'll put this back off to the side see that's just how i work i'll put that back over here and then I'll pull this back over here. And then I'm probably going to work on this now. 
some more. I got a few more spots right in here that I get. And then I'll take this covering off of this corner. That'll be my last corner. But see, I kind of think it looks like a hurricane. I'm not sure what they actually called this. If it had a name. I just call it a hurricane because it kind of looks like our hurricane. But anyway, we're going to read something from that Louise Hay. Louise Hay always has very, 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 very good works. She's got some good words, this lady. Oh, here we go. I am safe and secure in my world. Okay. Ooh, darn. It starts with, Overweight has always meant protection. When you feel insecure or frightened, you pad yourself with protection. Most of you, you spend your time being angry at yourselves for being fat and have guilt over food. Weight has nothing to do with the food. There is something going on in your life that is making you feel insecure. You can fight fat for 20 years and still be fat because you have not dealt with the cause. If you are overweight, put the weight issue aside and work on the other issue first. The pattern that says, I need protection and I'm insecure. Don't get angry when the weight goes on because your cells, because our cells respond to our mental patterns. When the need for the protection is gone or when we start feeling secure, the fat will melt off by itself. Begin to say, I used to have a problem with weight. You will begin to shift the pattern. What you choose to think today will start creating your no, new figure tomorrow. Hmm, I wonder if that will work for me. Here it says, um, if we have a compulsive habit in any area, instead of thinking how terrible we are, let us realize that there is some need in our consciousness to have this condition or it would not be there. All right, good one. This lady is one smart lady, Louise L. Hay. She's beautiful. And I ask God to watch over you. Every step you take, every move you make, and um, I ask God to keep you safe and secure and stable and healthy and happy and humble. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.